Welcome to Video Game Hour Live. I'm Batman. <laughs> and here with me is Batman. <laughs> and Batman. And Batman. <laughs> I'm actually Enoch. And some people have names too, but we'll get to that in a sec. Uh, this is the TSTV's video game show. We're the only FCC licensed student run television station in the country, I'm pretty sure at least. Uh, we're playing Arkham Asylum today. We're having some fun. Woohoo! Yeah, I mean, I don't think we fact check that every single semester, but I'm pretty sure it's I mean, true. I haven't personally fact checked it, but it might be true. Yeah. We're one of the only FCC. <laughs> Should we actually say our real names now? Yes. yes, what are your real names? I'm Enoch. I am Brenna. I'm Bruce Wayne. <laughs> He's Jacob. And I'm Ava. How's and everybody doing with this Arkham Asylum? I know, I know people have got some opinions. This is honestly one of my like my favorite Batman Arkham game of like all, all right. of the series that I have played, which I think I stopped mid Origins. Mm -hmm. And so like of all of what I have played, this is definitely my favorite game. Turn off with some high praise, Jacob. What are your thoughts? Um, it's not my favorite of the Arkham games, but it definitely like it, it was the beginning. You know, it mm -hmm. was the it was the beginning of this journey into Arkham, and it was like. This is what ignited like my my new love of Batman. Like once I played this game, I got fully into like more DC stuff. Nice, Brenna. What are your thoughts about Batman: Arkham Asylum? <laughs> so unpopular opinion because like I've seen Metacritic, I've seen the reviews. I've generally read well liked game. Generally well liked game. I think that the Arkham games in general are just a lot of really good, well thought out mechanics mm -hmm. that don't go well together. Yeah? Like, at all. Um, like, for example, the Arkham City, like, flying around yeah, the gliding. is pretty cool. Here, I'll fix mm -hmm. it. But you don't get to use it in, like, 99% of your missions. Or, there, now can like, from full health. <laughs> the combat is X, 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 Y counter, X, X, like, part it's literally old Assassin's Creed But it's all Creed about combat. the timing. It's all about it's the It's literally rhythm. old Assassin's Creed combat. That, okay, people always harp and like, oh, Assassin's Creed's combat used to be garbage. Like, oh, it's, it's oh. trash. Batman was the same thing. Like, the gimmicky, like, tools and whatever were hardly usable. Um, In very specific instances, they were usable. In combat, or in combat, well, I guess because like the puzzle in, in asylum, solving was I don't so think you can silly. use many of your items in combat. You can do a little bit. Once you, in night, you can use a lot more of your like, items in combat. The puzzles are so silly. It's like really here's this one specific yet. wall that's made out of this one material that you never see unless you need to use <gasps> your glue gargoyle. gun thing. Yeah. Gargoyle. And like Gar gargoyle. There's, there's no yeah, puzzle solving. I'll go to the gargoyle. It's gargoyle. like Thank you. round <laughs> hole, round piece. After you finish like, talking about that's all it is. Um. I don't uh -huh. like, especially in Arkham Asylum, is the worst because it's all in an asylum. <laughs> like, I have no issue with that. I don't think the environment is varied enough to warrant forward. a whole game. I, I think because you got you go underground in the sewers of Killer Shark, not Killer Shark, Killer sure. Croc. Uh, I, I like that. You get the whole botanical gardens with poison ivy. Well, oh, there that is one was some. Fun. I mean, yeah, but if like. I had Mr. Freeze and had another snow area. That full better. disclosure, I haven't finished any Arkham game. Okay. Because it just wasn't interesting enough to continue. Maybe it's so because you have to kill all the. It was just super oh, bland, stop, stop, like stop jail, stop. asylum, stop right like oh. just oh. environments. Mm -hmm. You want to yeah. play? Um, yes. <laughs> in general, like the art direction and like scenes everything is super dark and i get it you know it's a batman game it's supposed to Seven be dark movie. it has to be dark but from a gameplay perspective yeah. i cannot see what i'm doing i can't see where i'm going or what i'm doing that's what that's I a complain very understandable about for the criticism movies. so like i complain about that with the movie i don't care how stylistically accurate it is to have a dark game it doesn't make sense from a gameplay perspective like what are you looking at arco <laughs> asylum was them trying out a lot of ideas, and I think that they improved on those ideas going forward. Excuse like me. Arkham City had, like you can you can definitely see, you know, mm -hmm. uh, and it's like a whole being outside the asylum, being in this wide environment and stuff like that is is a lot better than being stuck in this. But this was like a good launching point, you know. This was a good origin no, no, story. No, 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 no. Sure, <laughs> but if we're gonna talk about origin stories, you gotta talk about Arkham 
Origins. Origins. Never played it. It like, is. I was done with Arkham games by the middle of City. It is highly criticized, and I think unfairly. Unfairly so. I think because there's a lot of pretty like good games. Love coming City back was better. I yeah, think I think people look back on it fondly. At the time, there was a lot of outcry against it. Yeah, because it wasn't a Rock City game. Yeah, it was a Warner Brothers Montreal game. Exactly. Which I think they did a pretty good job. The art style on the game was on point. They had some pretty solid uh, story story points. Uh, it, you know, same old same old Arkham formula ended up coming back to the Joker. But until then, it was like, oh wow, ten assassins hunting down Batman on on Christmas Eve. Ooh, that's I think I like pretty that cool stuff. And it's like you get to see like the or or you get to see like Batman's introduction to like Bane and Firefly and Electrocutioner. <laughs> nice. It was uh, it was pretty good, I think. And then like the best part of the game was Deathstroke. Deathstroke fights. Very cool fight scenes. Super dope. Good cinematics for that. Do you think W Montreal will actually ever announce their Batman game that they've basically already announced? Uh, well, I mean, you just said it. They've announced it. But like, like will they, they ever say they've said the they, name they of the put game? Put out the symbols. They they said they said we're totally not making a Batman game. But here's like <laughs> a bunch of Batman things. Yeah. We're Why totally not making a Court of Owls game. Do you think it's a Game Court Awards Owls. release? I mean, I think we kind of talked about this. I think that's what we talked about on the Parallax yeah. podcast. Go listen to that mm-hmm. whenever it gets put up somewhere. I'm not sure any of it's been put up somewhere yet. I need to get on that. Um, <laughs> but I think it may be a Game Awards thing, because I think Knight had some kind of reveal of the Game Awards. I think Warner Brothers is pretty friendly with Jeff Keighley, and so they do I things so, there. Yeah. Um, so it may be a Game Awards thing. I think this, that was a weird early tease, if it was, mm-hmm. to like in... September, October, whatever it was, and then not say anything until December. But um, yeah, from what I remember of the hype before night, uh, I remember there had been like some talk after Origins of like, oh, since it was a prequel, they Rocksteady's working on something else. You know, they're cooking up something. And I re- I remember I was like sitting, I was doing homework. I was sitting down and doing high school homework. I don't remember for which class, probably social studies. Uh, but I was like on my laptop, and I like I was like. Ah, I'll check the news. I'm getting a little bored here. Yeah. And it was like new Batman trailer released. And I was like, what? And it was the first Arkham Throw away the which homework. Is like, yeah, th- throw that note over the shoulder. Social studies history. Click, 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 click. Um, but it was like that cinematic trailer mm-hmm. where he's like going through the Batmobile and facing off against Two-Face. And I was like, this is the coolest thing I've ever seen. Uh, and then they did like this whole big, uh, this whole big demonstration at like, I say demonstration. That's kind of a weird word for it. But they did something at, at E3. Demo. Basically, they like demo. Yeah, not a demo though. It wasn't. It wasn't gameplay. They did like an announcement, or like a, a bigger like tease, basically, where like they they came back to like the Arkham Asylum roots, where like all the lights started going kind of wacky while they were cool. doing a presentation, and you heard like these little weird like chirping sounds and stuff. I love that. And then it like it, it all like froze up, and then like all went dark, and you heard like the crow sound. Uh, and then it like came back up, and it was it was Scarecrow sitting in his throne, uh, and, and like announcing to the world Whoop. that that Gotham City was oh, shoot, finished. Shoot, 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 shoot. And then it like came up, and it was like it's it's Arkham uh, Arkham Knight. That is really cool. It was some of the coolest stuff I've ever seen. It got me so hyped. Ava, you're a big fan of Scarecrow, right? Yes. What do you like so much about Scarecrow? I just think he's a really cool enemy. Like, uh, the way that you do, like, end up fighting him. You play. Uh, I'm not a contrarian. It's just not a good game. uh, His Uh, part of the game is really challenging, but I also like the way that he does his villainy in general, like, in the movie, Mm -hmm. uh, the the Batman Begins movie. I just think he's so creepy, and, uh, like, I like the fact that he... I mean, I don't like the fact that he uses drugs, but I think it, that's like an interesting. Yeah, it's an interesting villain thing. Yeah, yeah. and like hallucinogenic fear gas. And it, I think it, you activate it with water, right? So it just kind of like eats the yeah. water. In the in the movie, it is. Yeah. In the in the comics, it's just like he has like little needles and such that he'll like, or like tubes on his sleeves that he'll like, he'll pretty oh, yeah. much just fill up an area with fear gas, and then everybody sees him as this monster, and really just like a guy wearing a burlap sack. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. The scariest exactly. of all disguises. The scariest of all sacks. Burlap sack. The burlap. And, well, the Batman Begins is what really made me really start enjoying Batman in general. Mm-hmm. So, uh, like, he's also kind of just a really Big thing large, in that movie, yeah. Yeah, a really large part of why I started enjoying Batman. Cool. I bet he can't see very well out of that burlap sack. No. You know who else can't <laughs> no. see well? Zar, probably, because we're going to go to a segment now where he tried to play Mario blindfolded. We'll see how that goes. Hello, I'm Zar. And I'm Karina. And today we're going to be doing Blindfolded Mario. Uh, as you can see, Karina has a blindfold on, and she's going to be playing the game while I 
basically yell directions at her, and hopefully we'll be able to get through 1-1 one, one by the end of today. All right. So whenever you're ready, just hit start, and we'll go. I don't know what start uh, is. Hit the plus button. <laughs> Your thumb is, like, a little bit more up. A uh, little bit, yeah. What? Ah. Like, oh, God. <laughs> Wait, are you clicking it? I clicked it. OK. So there's a flat space in front of you to just, like, walk to you the right. All right, go a little bit more. <laughs> All right, stop. There's a Goomba coming your way. Three, two, one, jump. All right, you died. I'm sorry, that was super fast, and I did not give you enough time to prepare. OK. But now you know there's a Goomba there, right? I mean, I know it's there, you, you but know I don't there. know okay. when. So just go to the right. I'll tell you when the Goomba's on screen. OK. You're not jumping. Wait. OK, there you go. Oh my god. <laughs> All right. Well, Wait you, a second. Was okay. I pressing the wrong button the whole time? I think you were. <laughs> it's OK. This is baby steps. We got this. All right, so just go to the right again. All right, Goomba's on screen. Three, two, one, jump. Nice, you got the Goomba. OK, go a little bit to the right. That's not very good. OK, just go to the right, and then I'll say stop. All right, stop. Jump. There's a block above you. OK, that's just the coin. Keep on going to the right. I'll tell you when to stop again. All right, stop. Jump. All right, yeah, there's a mushroom. Just go to the right. All right, land on you. Now you're bigger, and you can take a hit. <laughs> but you might, you're going to have to back up to the left a little bit. Just go left, and then stop. And then go to the right and jump while you're going to the right. Does that make sense? All right. Actually, go to the left a lot, and I'll tell you when to. All right, that's good. And then just hold right, and I'll tell you when to jump. All right, jump. All right, that works. There's a bigger pipe in front of you, so we're going to do the same thing, OK? OK. Uh, go all the way to the left. And then just hold right, and I'll tell you when to jump. All right, jump. Uh, we were almost there, so we can do the same thing. <laughs> I think if you hold the jump button, you'll go higher. OK. All right, jump. All right, sweet. After the pipes, there's two Goombas. Yeah. So I'm going to try to get you on top of the pipe, keep you there. So as soon as you jump, I would say stop moving the stick. All right, go hold left, and then we'll start there. And after you jump, stop. All right, repeat. Sorry, I, <laughs> I did not. OK. Right. OK. And then jump. All right, stop. Jump. OK. Just keep, yeah, just stay there. Jump. Jump again. Sorry, I called you too early on the Goomba. <laughs> <laughs> this is a mess. <laughs> but now we know, right? Go to, just go to the right, and I'll tell you when the Goomba's on screen, and I'll count you down. Goomba's on screen. Jump. OK, you barely got it, but it's OK. All right, stop. Uh, go a little bit to the left. I'll tell you when to stop again. Uh, more left, more left. And you're good. Jump. All right, the mushroom's coming out. And then we're back to the pipes. So go left a little bit. Let's go all the way left. And then just hold right, and I'll tell you when to jump. Jump. All right, nice. Uh, we'll repeat that. Hold right. Jump. Stop. Jump. All right, just uh, there's a Goomba coming. Three, two, one, jump. All right, perfect. Jump. All right, jump. All right, we're like not making it. Jump. All right, stop. OK, so the two Goombas are down there. Do you want me to drop you down below when they're below you? I don't know. OK, <laughs> I'll just drop down now. Just hold right a little bit. Actually, stop. OK. All right, now hold right a little bit. Just go to the right a little bit. OK, stop. And I'll tell you when to jump. Jump. Jump again. All right. Um, all right, jump. Ah, uh, we died. <laughs> Man, one one's hard. Um, so we're back at the beginning. Just go right. OK. Three, two, one, jump. Perfect. Stop. All right, go left. Uh, just a little bit more. Yeah, that's good. And then you can jump. And got the mushroom. <laughs> All right, just uh, hold right, and I'll tell you when to jump. All right, that works. And jump again. OK, that works. OK. And just jump. Like, hold down jump. I want to see what happens. OK, that works. All right, just do the same thing. Just hold right. Run. Ah! Jump, jump, jump. Jump again. OK, we're good. Still a Goomba coming. Three, two, one, jump. Perfect. 
Um, okay, wait a second. Yeah, back up, jump. All right, cool. Stop, stop, stop. We're gonna do the same thing where you hold left and then you're gonna be on the very left of the screen and then you're gonna hold right and I'll tell you when to jump, okay? Okay. Jump. Perfect. Uh, stop, jump. All right, ah, oh, okay, that's fine. All right, go to the very left. Jump. All right, perfect, jump again. Oh, okay, so <laughs> as soon as he jumped, two Goombas spawned in front of you. <laughs> oh, my God. oh, we got a checkpoint, sweet. Okay. Let me orient you. So there's a gap in front of you, and yeah. there's gonna be two Goombas like immediately there. So I'm just gonna say jump when you need to jump, I guess. Jump. Oh, you didn't make it. <laughs> Interesting. All right, go to the left. Okay. And then hold right, jump. All right, stop, jump. Ah, uh, all right, we died. Well, blindfolded Mario is really hard and we couldn't make it through 1-1, one, one, but I hope you guys enjoyed. And now back to the show. And we're back. Turns out Zara not the one blindfolded. I was totally wrong on that point. But anyways, we're still playing Arkham Asylum and we're still arguing about it. What were you arguing about just now? Um, the okay. fact that you have to restart rooms um, if you're spotted in certain missions. Like, right here, you can get spotted and that's fine. Mm -hmm. But there are certain missions where- I was dying, where because no, I could not have gotten <laughs> spotted. Well, apart from dying, like the health system. Um, there are certain missions where you have to stay stealth or the game will just give you a game over and you have to restart the room again. Well, I so mean, like there's missions? some- I also don't like stealth missions. I like stealth so missions as long as they can be not stealth missions. <laughs> so you don't up. like stealth the missions? The stealth missions are my favorite part of the entire series. No, I, I like stealth, stealth aspect. but you I don't want to have to do it stealthily. I want I mean, it I to be that. forgiving if I mess up. Okay. But I like stealth on its own. You I know, think, Dishonored think, was a good game. Yeah, but, and sounds I great. I did most of it stealth. But when I wasn't, the game didn't just kick me out of the level I was in. No. Also, it does make it very hard for you to not be stuck. The level design in these games is just He's going one oh. room. It has several <laughs> floors. It has stairs in uh -oh. between. And the little pegs at the top, the little gargoyles or yeah. whatever that you stand Indoor on. Indoor gargoyles. Perfect for every, every building. Every single building, every single room. Like, it was monotonous. Super monotonous. So what do you think of All these points are improved upon throughout the games. They go from gargoyles to just like okay, spots. Well, I never went past. <laughs> yeah. uh, cool little hiding spots. I never went past city. Also, fun, like I hope you remember, Arkham Knight's launch on PC. Oh, super buggy. Terrible. Yeah. It was like 15 frames per second on the fastest graphics the PC card at the PC the inferior time. platform. No one cares Yeah, come that. on. Come on. Okay. We're not making this into that. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, PS4. Yeah, like I saw that years. and I was like, all right, you know, Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, I should have bought that game. Fool me three times. Wait, I'm never touching to that go? again. And so sad. Not. So sad that that experience is ruined for you. Even if it was patched, like... I think it eventually was. Even Arkham Knight... Oh, it's Knight, runnable now. Arkham yeah. Knight was darker than the other games. I don't remember having any issues like, I had, that. It was also years ago when I played I it. I was watching people play it, so it was like... Because I didn't want to buy it. Maybe that was stream quality but kind of I stuff. I remember it being a very colorful game. I have faith. Lots of Because reds. I really like Batman as a concept, Poor as a character. Uh, yeah. Batman as an idea. I just don't like the implementation. It's just not good games. Yeah. <laughs> like, good in concept, not in practice? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, exactly. I'd love to play a good Batman okay, game. Okay, so let's discuss <laughs> a very interesting point. What would your ideal Batman game be? Okay, so... We're about to... <laughs> I can stealth, right? Okay. You know, Batman is a stealthy boy, so he can stealth. But if I'm discovered, I'm also Batman, you know, the... Super Ninja. Exactly. The B-A-M-F-er <laughs> um, that can just kick butt and take names, yeah. you know, um, that fights crime and everything. Also, a lot of the Arkham games, like, they're not really like too relatable in a way that you're focused on like the super villains who are doing the crazy stuff where there's not enough like in between 
you know, Batman is, is like supposed to be a little bit more like Spider-Man, where he's just like going around the city at night and saving people. And you don't. I don't know about that as much. He goes on patrol. Yeah, now. exactly. He's supposed to do but more But he also does. His, he also does things. his cases. Like he has his detective. He goes cases. in the Batcave and does research and. Oh, well, absolutely down that. that. Um, and also that you know, Batman's supposed to be he, some you, you know, trail? engineering technical no, genius. He's not a ground level hero. Here. He's he's not. Let's see. He, he's don't like cut this yourself on this sharply superhero, which is constantly chart, fighting like these embodiments of evil. You know, uh, and I'm pretty sure it's um, in one of these. Like, I don't know the things. villains of Batman very well. But the but thing like, is, like, I oh, oh, let me talk about some villains then. The, right man, the best villain. The oh, Two-Face guy, or Bane, or Penguin. Uh, like, these but are, also, like, how do I get caricatures as how they evil they are. Now? Yeah. Um, you know, you're not just no. stopping Wait. a robbery on the street in a way that Spider-Man <laughs> absolutely nailed. Spider-Man, the, okay. you know, random events surf? that happened. Great. Put it down, It surf. was perfect. I love Spider-Man. What's up, my I just dude? needed, like... You hear no bad things about Spider-Man from me. 10% of the random, like, citizen mm, encounters. Really I needed that in Batman to, like, was ground like myself and self? Oh. be like, oh, <laughs> I don't see Batman as, like, <laughs> that kind of street-level hero, though. That, like, stops At too... At night. He is supposed to be like a Wait, patrolling person. Wait, what are y'all talking about? So I can insert myself into the conversation. Like the types of crime that Batman fights. Oh, okay. Like, like I feel like the Arkham games focus too much on like the super evil like Oh, it's about the big arcs. It's about of, the big master plans. Well, yeah, but like there's nothing like grounding Batman in just like yeah, he's you know patrolling the city at night and looking for. Robbers or he's muggers. Gonna put, it, gonna put it down again. Arkham Knight has, he's not has a spontaneous, uh, spontaneous robberies, spontaneous car chases, okay. spontaneous bank robberies, okay. all that kind of stuff. All right. Very Arkham similar Asylum to how the Spider-Man like a, a system works. A one bad night type of thing. It's like over the course of this one night, he's trapped here and doing this thing. Yeah, that's that always weirds me out though. I do wish they had like some sort of time cycle <gasps> to these. Sometimes I'm not saying that it should be like you should spend 30 days in game doing yeah. this arc, but like. The fact that all this happens within one night. And isn't Arkham Knight also villains? isn't also like a one night thing? It's, was, it's are, Halloween. Are they, all, are they all a one night thing? That was Arkham also one night. very odd. A lot of them are like. Why is it always night? Arkham Asylum is Batman. Arkham he Asylum cool is one day. night. Arkham Asylum, have to look Arkham cool. Asylum is, it's, I believe, uh, yeah, it's one night. Arkham City is over the course of, I believe, ten hours. Okay. Like exactly, they do like a protocol ten countdown and stuff like that. Arkham Knight is uh, is Halloween night, and then uh, Arkham Origins is Christmas Eve, and then DLC is New Year's Eve. Okay. Side note, real quick. I think Batman absolutely has to look cool. If he doesn't look cool, what's the <laughs> no, point? No. Okay. You see, have you seen The Dark Knight Rises? I didn't finish. Like, you know what? Batman in a white room fights like this. It's terrible. I it's didn't terrible. finish the sentence. <laughs> Batman doesn't have to like be in the dark. All the time. That is true, it but may, I do think it matches. So you like, however, you like, like Batman boy. doesn't even have to be on screen all the time. Why can't plot developments happen in the day, and then he reacts to them as Batman and I? Also, where is you know uh, Bruce Wayne? <laughs> you know, we Arkham don't City. see any Bruce Wayne. <laughs> Arkham City and Arkham Knight. The movie. Yeah, for select scenes at least. <laughs> I can get what you're saying, definitely. Uh, I you do can think watch that, like, the movie. Because Bruce Wayne yeah. is like... I think a great thing that has they do in the movies is more Bruce play. Wayne. Than Batman. But, Pretend to be like a, a schmoozy rich guy. But like he should be using his like multi-billionaire head honcho of the city status and his role as a crime-fighting superhero at the same time You're to achieve really his like, goal. So you, yeah. want, like, you like the Telltale games then. The Telltale games are like... Pretty much that. Okay, it's like, yeah. You got to make decisions in Bruce Wayne that will affect your affect your outcomes as Batman. Oh my God, I'm and vice to versa. Fight Croc. Exactly. Yeah. You know, he's got this like also, this has limitless really cool villain designs. <laughs> he's got this limitless wealth, and he only uses his like, you know, Batman persona to achieve his ends, and that could add oh, some down. variety <laughs> because, like I said, Ooh. the game is I all love, dark. I love the whole landscape. <laughs> Me too. So what do you yes, think yes, that Spider-Man yes. yes, PS4 yes. did well? 
I think you like that, right? That absolutely. I think it was one of the best games of Wayne all time. Wayne Tech. I think, um, my I think Spider-Man PS4 is the perfect Spider-Man movie. It I think seemed it's very the, cinematic very to me. It seemed like a very good. I, I was very much more interested in the plot of that game than the mechanics. Interestingly, um, I think it's a good season of television. Feels more yeah. like that to me. Yeah, yeah, like a, it feels a like a mini series. Yeah. A mini series, maybe. Yeah. I, seeing, I think it felt very good to play. It, seeing like uh, Doctor Octavius' whole transformation yeah. was some of the like best storytelling I've seen. It's great. I game. love Doctor Octavius. Like he starts off as such a cool guy, you know? Yeah, very Spider-Man too. It's except, very, it's except very actually cool. good. Yeah, it's very, very cool. I, I like Spider-Man. Wait, <laughs> I need. To, I like. <laughs> I think. I, I think maybe I'm having a little bit, of, uh, a little bit of hearing trouble. Did I hear? Did I hear Spider-Man too? But, but good. <laughs> yeah, you did. Because here's the thing. I like Spider-Man too a whole lot. I enjoy watching that movie so much, but it's because it's cornball and cheesy and not actually like. Good oh, in it's the, way in the classical mm. sense. Like it feels like a comic book out of 1969 in like the best uh, way. Of, like, yeah. Doc Ock throws like bags of gold coins at Spider-Man out of a bank. I'm like, why did this bank have bags of gold coins? Why well, you know your, just your local money. credit union doesn't have then, uh, his, like, doesn't have gold bullion? He has like a faux good backstory. I'm like, yeah. he was a nice guy, but he's evil now. You know why he was evil? Because he made the robotic arms. arms that he knew were inherently evil. And that if they gained control, would make him go crazy. Why would you make robot arms that are inherently evil? That is a hang-up I have with the movie. I don't get why robot arms are inherently evil. Like, they in, just the, are. in the game, they give an explanation. They're like, oh, he, we will come back to this, though, okay. after the commercial break. So uh, and we're back with some more Batman. We're talking about Spider-Man right now. Yeah, I'm really sorry, great. guys. I just don't like this game, so it's easier for me to talk about something else. Spider-Man, he's back in the MCU. Yes. Which he is? Yeah. He yeah, is. They, they got a deal. They reached a deal for one more solo Spider Man movie and, and a, all, an additional appearance in a Marvel movie. And I wouldn't Good. be surprised I'm if they also renewed the contract after that. Yeah. At any point. Because the next Spider Man movie is like two years away. There's going to be four Marvel movies coming out in 2021. I'm very excited. That's amazing. Ooh. There's also this like whole, five shows. This whole new roster for Marvel is super interesting. Uh, I protected what, with like the, the Disney movie. Plus shows and stuff. Good job. Like WandaVision. Yeah. I'm very excited. Oh. Yeah, WandaVision will be weird. Oh I'm my here goodness. It's supposed to be like, it's supposed to be nightmare. I have explosive gel. Like, and then they're going to have like the, the, uh, the Doctor Strange movie. Uh, and uh, WandaVision will tie into that? Yeah. I, I'm forgetting what the, what the, the Multiverse of Madness. Multiverse of Madness oh, is probably no. the coolest thing I've ever heard for a movie. My baby is just Top destroyed. 10 will raise you hold for hold Love on. and Thunder. Top 10 worst mm. Batmobiles in games. This oh, one? this weird, like, yeah, transparent one. What one. is oh, this? Yeah, not the best. It looks fine. Though the, it's the, so the, ugly. Batmobile, <laughs> the Batmobile in Arkham Knight, I go back and forth on because it's basically a tank. But, like, yeah. it's super fun. I, I have a lot of fun with the Batmobile. See, that is when Batman lost all pretense that he, was kill he wasn't killing people. No, the rubber bullets. Rubber? Okay, okay. Rubber, rubber tank rounds? Yeah. No, there, also, he has a, he has a little pellet all, gun. Yeah. There's a little, like, pellet machine gun. And then instead of hitting the people with his car, there's, like, an electric field he around He has a car. tank. He bounce them out. Yeah. It has explosive rounds. But he Does never fires it at any really. command. Yeah. All the drones are, uh, all the other tanks are, like, drones. They're not operated by people. Shrapnel can kill people. There's not people around. And it never does. Look, if you saw if you saw the bat tank rolling down the street, and then you saw a, a, a red and tank. white drone rolling down the street, are you like r are you sprinting towards that drone, going hit me with the shrapnel, hit me with the shrapnel? I cannot I'm find not. the evidence. People don't die to shrapnel because they want to die to shrapnel. It's because it happens. Explosions cause metal pieces to fly everywhere. I are promise you, you me, Batman is you killing people that all that the time. rounds cause an explosive force so powerful as to send small shards of metal pieces through the air that could possibly careen into my chest? Impossible. <laughs> so this is the I DC impossible. Universe. It doesn't happen here. <laughs> okay, well, DC Universe. Yeah, throw yeah. all physics we don't out do the window. Either. Yes, exactly. Find the evidence. I, don't, I can't find Where's it. the evidence in this Batmobile? I don't know. It's probably... Also, this game has oh, the same oh, detective rocket. system as Witcher 3, and it's just like... This is the game that I think popularized this kind of detective system. Well, it's not very good. It was the first one to I do really it. I really can't find okay, it. Okay, fair. Okay, maybe it's right, it was, but it's the reason things good. have detective modes now it's is because of this game. No, Eagle okay. Vision was first. Okay, Eagle Vision. But okay. like, I just... I, I think, from what I understand, this game went a long way to detective mode this being game. everything. 
I've been playing Hitman 2, that game. I mean, is it really, really fun to line. just have this crosshair and walk around to try and well, find you can't find the evidence, no, it's pretty That boring, actually, admittedly. like, triggers your find that. Um, crosshair or whatever. It's just not fun. I know the evidence is here somewhere. Batman, not it a very good detective, be in the Batmobile. Exactly. This no. is about being Batman. He's no. a master detective. Don't, don't Why do I feel Batman like just a got terrible a detective right? when I'm playing this game? It Maybe doesn't. The evidence is on the ground. <laughs> it doesn't make me feel yeah. like yeah. Batman. Maybe it's one of these that. people. Hmm. What if I? Yeah. Maybe walk one of the bodies, away. something like that. What if I leave? Maybe like a smoke pipe. That's probably what it is. Gordon left a smoke pipe on the ground. Oh. I didn't figure that out. Emily's just telling me from off camera because this is taking oh, too long. Oh, there it is. Yeah. There. Thank you, Emily. We needed that. Now we have Gordon's pipe. Gordon, he's really knocked that off. Stop smoking, buddy. <laughs> Who's Gordon? Commissioner, commissioner Gordon. James Gordon. Who okay, is Jim that, Gordon? You gotta, you gotta the, look the police at him commissioner. Now. He's a, he's a staple of Batman so, yeah. stories. He's in all the there. movies. He's got a mustache I'm, usually. I'm tracking his dip. I don't know what to tell you. Put like Gary Oldman in the Christopher Nolan movies. He's in literally every Batman thing ever made. Okay. Oh, He's Batman's bestie. You're stopped. I thought that was the Wait. old guy. Like Butler. Alfred, the explode Butler? Yes. That wall I thought that now was because you have explosive gel that yeah, you draw kind of in a bat, which just is. going to load it up. First off, okay. I'm a big fan of when really Superman and Batman are good friends. That's kind of cute. The little bats? Yeah, it's good. That's kind of cute. It's a good yeah. time. I will say. You know, no, detonate. You know, Batman's like, look at that. Look at those bat designs. Prepare I don't them. know why he does it. There's no point. Because he's But Batman. it's kind of cute. Yeah. Everything yeah, I mean, it just explodes, so. But into, like, oh, the bat shape. Go back into detect mode. If you could, like, have a theme. Could, it, it, like, Batman themes everything after bats. If you yeah. could do that in your own life, what would you do it with? Hmm. Huh. The Mantis Shrimp. Video game theme. <laughs> nice. Good, good. Broad. You can fit a lot with the video game theme. Yes. Like, doesn't have to be an animal. Really? No questions about the mantis shrimp? Monokuma theme. <laughs> I mean, I get it. Mantis shrimp. Cool it animal. doesn't make, I mean, it makes perfect sense. What are you talking about? I love me. No the questions Monokuma. here about the yeah, mantis shrimp. Uh, it's kind of a dumb question. Lobster. I'm going to admit. Lobster? Yeah, you'd be kind of lobsters? Yes. Well, eating them, so I guess not really the best oh, like, they're mascot. Oh, they're Take them down. But no, they're just you just theme your life as like a food uh, critic? I'm not here to disturb sure. people doing that. Do I'd love to get work. paid to eat food. They're just renovating That'd the It'd be unhealthy. For evil purposes. It'd, it'd be How do you know like, it's really evil? nice. It's probably evil, knowing that you could take them down. What? What's a Batman team up you want to see? Sir? What's a Batman team up you want to see? What, like mm. a crossover? Oh, yeah. Are you or talking or in a movie or a game? Regardless. Who do you want to see Batman team up with? Mm. Uh, I would say Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, but it's already been done. Thank you for segueing me into Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. That was a thinly veiled attempt because I want to talk about the Ninja Turtles. We're on the, on the same page, bud. Ninja Turtles, fantastic. I found out the 2012 series is on Hulu. We're going to be watching that soon. Oh. Excited about that. <laughs> I got to add something to my watch list. Exactly. Oh, my God. I'm almost done with Futurama. Freaking nerd. I've been watching, I've been watching that 70s show like a, like a square when I could be watching Teenage Mutant Ninja exactly. Turtles. I found a way to watch the original movie for free the other weekend. Then I watched the 2007 animated one on Netflix. Yeah. I've actually been thinking about maybe watching the Michael Bay ones. I don't like them that much, really. But, like, I need the more first to one, The first one is, like, not the best. The second one, they greatly improved. The second one, they're like, it's the original cartoon, but in live action. Yeah. Which, when they came yeah. out with the trailer for the second one, I was on board. Like, they, they had Beastie Boys in the background, and then they, they showed Bebop and Rocksteady, and I was like, I am on board, sir. I'm not, like... I appreciate the original 87, whatever it was, yeah. cartoon, but I'm not the biggest fan of it, I'll admit. Now they could well, Bebop and Rocksteady. I mean, well, most of the other incarnations I prefer to, like, yeah. the strictly goofy original Ninja Turtles. What's your favorite in incarnation of the Ninja Turtles, Brenna? I'm very interested. Do you have one? It's so hard to choose. Um, <laughs> I just dismissed it as a kid because it looked dumb. It was great. It was everything I ever wanted. They were ever present in my mind. They were just... 
It was so stupid. See, I ignored Power Rangers because I'm like, I already have a team of multicolored no, no, teenagers no. to fight crime. I don't need no, Power no, Rangers. No, I ignored, ignored Power Rangers. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles because I already had a team of teenagers who fought crime, and they yeah. weren't sentient turtles, which was weird. You're right, because they have like suits from space that morph around them. It makes okay. so much more sense. <laughs> well, they're not always from space, though. <laughs> there was an explanation. There was like There's explanations for everything in Ninja Turtles. It's ridiculous, yes, but no less ridiculous. Uh, it's no more ridiculous than Power Rangers. <laughs> Ran in two oh, words. Oh, I found a Riddler truck. The ooze. Mutagen, as some know. The it. ooze explains everything. Uh, as to why these turtles... Were they turtles, or were they people they that were, made... They, they were, were turtles. turtles that turned into, like, mutant people turtles. Okay. They were turtles first. And Splinter, there's, like, it varies in creation and There's storylines in which they, be they can become more more humanoid than they are through mutation, but then they like they say no. Not a good storyline. Honestly, good story not a good storyline. <laughs> Never a fan of that. Don't turn them into people. Also, don't turn other people into Ninja Turtles. What's your favorite Power Rangers iteration? Wild Force. <laughs> the original was the right only there. one I know. Of you just hit me right there. <laughs> God, Wild Force was so good. Um, Wild Force is really good. Jungle Fury was one I, I, I remember when I was growing up. Dino Thunder. I had the Dino Thunder game on PS2. I never beat it. <laughs> I was trying to unlock that, that one last, there was one last dinosaur and there was like a mission where you had to like, it was like, oh, shoot down all of these 50 robots in 30 seconds. And I was like, that is impossible. <laughs> and I never finished it. Well, maybe one day you'll finish it. But you know what we can finish now? This segment about keep talking and no one explodes. You mean start? Really well. But we'll finish it once it ends. Explosions, bombs, and everything in between. Welcome to Keep Talking and Don't Explode. My name is Xavier, and today I am going to be the diffuser. At my left is Chase. It's keep talking and nobody explodes. Yeah, who cares? The point is we have to keep talking. He's the one with the manual, and I'm the one with the bomb. Let's start the game. Oh my, oh no. All right. Okay. How many wires are there? One, two, three, four, uh, five. All right, five. Is the last wire black? No. Okay, is there one red wire? Uh, there are two. If, are there no black wires? There are no black wires. Cut the second wire. Okay, good. Uh, there's another uh, wire module. How many wires are in the wire module? Two, three, four, five, six. Cut the fourth wire. Let's go button. to button because okay. I have button up on my sheet. Do you have a blue button that says abort? No, there's a blue. Uh, there's a uh, white button. Don't talk abort. to me anymore. Is the button white? Yes. And there is a lit indicator with the label car. No, it does not say car. Okay, hold the button down. Do not let go. When the countdown timer has a one in it, release the strip. Okay, I gotta wait. I, uh... Okay, we're good. We're gonna go to the next one. I'm gonna tell you uh, this. It's red and it says hold. All right. If the button is red and press hold, press immediately and then release. So just tap it. Okay, we're good. Uh, one is trident. One is an almost hashtag. One is a uh, a C backwards with two dots on it and an N with a tiny little U on the top. Yeah. Backward C. Backward C. Hashtag. Hashtag. Trident. Trident. N. N. Okay, last one. It's another symbols. Ah, oh, you one more minute. Okay. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, swirly uh, O, uh, a lot, uh, X with a cross in the middle, and a, uh, a butt. And what was the last one? Uh, a butt. A butt. Okay, do butt, squiggly line. Uh, yeah. Okay, then X with the cross, uh -huh. then the A. We're good! Ha! Oh, oh my god, with 13 seconds left. <laughs> On to the next one, officer. No problem, look-alike Bernie Burns. Uh, one is one step up. I'm ready, yeah, one this... second, I'm piling my new paperwork. No problem. <clears throat> all right, I'm good. Go, all right. Oh my god. Uh, okay, No, right, pause, fine. are there wires? <clears throat> yes. Let's go to wires, how many wires are there? One, two, three, four, five, six. Are there no red wires? There is a red wire. One. Cut cut the fourth wire. Four. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna do symbols then. Oh shoot, 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 shoot. Keep it under control down there. I we can am get through this. Sorry. What okay. what do we have? 
We have a trident. We have a backwards N with a little U on it, a backwards C with two dots on it, and a hashtag. Backwards C, hashtag, trident, backwards N. Okay, we're good. It's a thing that looks like Simon Says. You know what Simon Says is? The little game Yeah, that's... sure. Okay. I have Simon Says. Thank you for cheating. Okay, what's the button being pressed? Okay, well, the What's the flashing? Yeah, it's blue. Then press red? Okay, red. And no, okay, that did not work. It seems like I probably made a mistake here. Press red again. Okay, red. Okay, we're good. Now, uh, the last one, oh God, all right. 30 seconds, we gotta hurry up. How many rows of columns are we speaking here? There's four uh, numbers right there and a screen that says a number as well. Okay, got it. Uh, all right. Is the display, what is the display? The display is too, oh! There you go. I think that'll be it for this time. If you wanna catch this again, failing at disarming a bomb, watch VGHL. Now, back to the show. And we're back. We see we finished that segment. That was good. Look where we are. Yeah? A room with multiple floors with the pegs at the top. That's enough of that. Ava, what do you <laughs> think about bats? So I made, I was watching this video um, about like baby animals recently. Mm -hmm. And one of the baby animals was a bat. And I took a look at that bat and I looked at it in its face and I said, that bat looks like a goat squirrel. A goat squirrel. Yeah. And so from here on out, I believe that all bats are goat squirrels. Like the face looked like a little goat, like because mm -hmm. of the beady little eyes, <laughs> and like the tiny pupils, it looked like a goat. That's nicer than flying rats, which is what a lot of people call. Yeah, and then bats. the way that it was eating too, it was like. <laughs> and uh, that was just like, that was a goat. That's a goat right there. That is a goat right there. And it also kind of looks like a squirrel with like its body. Mm -hmm. And I was just like, it looks like a goat. And so but I tweeted it on Twitter. Goats and squirrels don't fly. <laughs> Where the wings like a flying come from? squirrel goat. Yeah, flying squirrel goat. See? <laughs> All makes sense. It's logical. It's only logical, Brenna. How could you miss this? Here in VGHL, only logic and reason. I passed the controller no to Jacob so I could talk about how bats look like flying goat squirrels. It was a good city. <laughs> Thank you. And uh, yeah, just that video really. Oh, yeah, that definitely didn't kill him. No. <laughs> He's just unconscious. Uh, My I concussion. My concussion, much. unconscious. <laughs> I tweeted that on Twitter and I got a reply from somebody and they were just like. Green damage. They poison. thought that I was calling bats ugly, like in general. And I was uh, like, no, I'm not calling you bats. You like it. Yeah, they're cute. They're just a goat squirrel. Yeah, they're, uh, they're, they're what my friend likes to squirrel. call uggy cute. Whenever, I get that. Whenever something's really cute, but it's also ugly, like pugs. I like pugs a lot. Yeah. Pugs are good. They're cute, but they kind of ugly. <laughs> <laughs> this is my conclusion on why bats are goat squirrels. <laughs> Thank Come back you next week on VGHL for another riveting essay on animal <laughs> biology. For another hot take on animal biology. <laughs> but yeah. And originally, whenever I was proposing to talk about this on the show, I didn't even really think about the fact that we were playing Batman. Unrelated. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I was just like, I want to talk about my controversial opinion. And then Brenna was just like, oh my god, I thought you were so clever. And I was just like, I forgot we were playing Batman. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, like, I think Brenna thinks she wishes she could forget we were playing Batman right now. You know what? <laughs> I don't like the game. It doesn't mean I don't like being on this couch. That's true. I'm not playing. You can have fun yeah. not do, while the game's on. I like the game all right. Bad boss fights, but that's that's. I'll be on the couch no matter I what. I like the scarecrow is. boss fight, but scarecrow I don't really count as a boss fight. Uh, well, because you're not technically fighting. Yes, so but I have no issues with that. A boss level, I yes. guess. Boss level. But the thing is, uh, I I mean, like I like the scarecrow level mostly because it involves scarecrow, mm -hmm. but I don't really like the fact that it's so incredibly difficult that it made me so angry at 12 years old. <laughs> so do you I want scarecrow to be in the next movie, the Robert Pattinson movie? I would just love more Scarecrow in general. Wait, who's I Robert think Pattinson there needs playing? to be Batman. more Scarecrow. What? Robert, Robert Pattinson is Batman. You didn't, yes. I he's, don't he's the like next this. new Batman. I don't like I'm this. I'm fine he's with the newest Batman. I am pleased. My level of faith in this movie, through the roof. I'm down for this, <laughs> actually. I like him. Yeah, he's a good actor. All right. I'm very excited for That's this movie. That's great. 
I don't know why. I have unreasonably high like faith in it. Uh, also, you just have unreasonably high faith in Batman. No, just this movie. I haven't because I like the director a lot. He directed the second two Planet of the Apes Night movies. Rises. I think just think he knows what he's doing. Robert Pattinson has an interesting take on Batman, though. He said, like, he doesn't think he's like quite a real hero. Like, he's not a normal hero. He's like messed up, which is like I guess kind of true. He's more of a hero. He, he also like thinks therapy. that Batman kind of talks like a pirate, which is maybe the most concerning part of this movie. Actually, that Robert Pattinson is being influenced by pirates for his Batman voice. Yeah, that sounds a little concerning. I wonder. Do we have any voice clips? What no. is? Well, I mean, he was he was just in the lighthouse, which yeah. he plays like this grizzled sailor. Yeah, so he's he in Willem Dafoe like that. in that movie was his inspiration for his Batman voice. Interesting, it's kind of piratey, which sounds very strange I for a Batman. I think it might voice. just be like gruff in cadence. I just yeah. like you know whatever. Not anything an is going to be better than like the super like gruffy like surf, surf? surf? on surf? Batman. Christian Bale just making his voice for though. Yeah. I'm Batman. <laughs> Anything's better than that. Yeah, I that was the I worst. absolutely hated that. I do you didn't like, like Christian Bale? I like the the voice modulator. Love, the I voice modulator Christian that they Bale. used in like the the BBS? DCEU. Uh which like uh, I think it's a pretty cool take on it. Like that's a it's that a, definitely an effective way to disguise your voice. Yeah. Besides just going I am Batman. Just yeah, just talking in different cadence. Yeah. That works fine. I mean, I personally love the Christian Bale Batmans. But th I also haven't seen like another thing from Batman since yes. Dark Knight Rises. BBS uh, gets a lot of trash, but because uh, it is. Stop. It's my favorite. pretty good. Wait, Batman not, v Superman. Not pretty good. Yes, Batman v Superman. Full, 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 full director's cut. Pretty good. No, I disagree. Release I mean, I didn't Snyder watch it, but things. the regular version was terrible. I okay, agree. well, <laughs> I just really well, like this. There are parts of that movie that I liked all right. But as a whole, game. not a fan. Yeah, I can definitely whole, get that. Like, the first, like the first half story of the movie is, is Maria slow. and like Martha. Martha. Their, mo their mom's names are both Martha. <sighs> that was the crux. Which is the thing that everyone harps on about that movie. Because it is dumb. That's an easy target. It is. It's the easy target of that it's movie. It's the easy target, and I do believe that there's like a whole lot more behind it than people give it credit for. I mean, it's Batman realizing that Superman is like a human and a person. It's him realizing it's that Batman is a human and a person. Uh, it's also Batman realizing that he's become not <gasps> Get the human. Reynolds Trophy. Yeah. Get the Reynolds Trophy. I just don't think right it there. works very well. As a pseudo-adaptation oh of The Dark Knight Returns, I think it fails in most ways. Comparing yeah. to The Dark Knight Returns. Is there a Batman v Superman comic? Uh, like, called Batman v Superman? I don't know. He fights him. They fight at some point a lot. Thank you. They How is that, that a fair or the, like rational the Batman fight? Super, the definitive Batman is Batman Superman Batman a lot. Is that's, either that's the thing. you either go here, take this. Okay. You either go Injustice or you go Dark Knight Returns. Dark Knight Returns being like the older one that they based BVS off of, yeah. uh, and that they have like a whole two-part animated movie that's like great. But the the way they balance the fight in that one is that number one, Batman has the the suit, like the big iron suit, you like know, in Batman and then the plot point. The day before the fight, or like I think the morning of the fight, Superman goes to like save some country from getting nuked, gets hit by the nuke, falls as a corpse out of the air, and lands in like a field of flowers uh -oh. in what's like a very haunting sequence. Like it's just picture like s skinny, shriveled Superman falling out of the sky, right? Because he's been like drained of all his energy, hits the ground in the middle of a bunch of flowers, and then it like the next panel is him like reaching out to touch the flowers. All the flowers around him wilt and like. Like they're all, he like basically gives off all the radiation that he just absorbed, kills the entire field of flowers, and like heals himself. Thank it's you. so, it's like, if they did that, in, if Good they book. did that at BBS, it would have been like a crazy scene. Yeah, they didn't, they didn't fit the Clark they were going for in that movie. It but, did not fit it at But all. nothing fits the Clark they were going for in that movie, because I don't think they, they understood Clark. Yeah, in Man of Steel or Clark's in a little, Justice. Clark's a little strange in Man of Steel and BBS. It's like, you, there are hints of what makes him good uh, as a person yeah. and as a character. But like, it's a, I think there's a I fundamental misunderstanding. I think they've got, lot. I think the yeah. DCEU like, has, wasn't relatable. they've got yeah. Wonder Woman down. Yes. Like, they've got Wonder Woman down, they've got Aquaman pretty down. Yeah, like he's, he's, he's a cool surfer dude, you know? He's like pretty chill, but he also has like some sort of like regalness to him, you know? Flash, I go back and forth on. I, I do like Ezra Miller, uh, but like the whole Flash aesthetic of these movies yeah. is like, it's kind of whatever. Could use some improvement. But you know what has a better CW. aesthetic? This show. And next week, 
you can watch the show again at 9 p.m. Is on TSTV or twitch.tv slash VGHL. We're here every Tuesday. Or watch TSTV.com. Yes, that too. A lot of places you can watch this show. But until next time, I'm Enoch. Ben Brenna. Jacob. And I'm Ava. And we'll see you next time. We love you. Bye. Bye. Bye.